The work done by a varying force can also be expressed in terms of definite integrals. So the work done by a force f of x, a force that is a function of position x, as it moves a particle, a body, from point A to point B along the x-axis, is given by the definite integral from A to B of f of x dx. This definite integral is obtained in the limit um, of this approximation, where we take simply the sum of the uh, forces times displacements for small delta x uh, displacements. So as uh, we take n, the number of terms, to infinity, uh, delta x goes to zero, and in the limit we do get the definite integral that you see there. Okay, let's solve some problems involving work. Calculate the work, w, done by the force f of x equals 2x, moving a particle from x equals 1 to x equals 3 along the x-axis. So pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and I found this value to be um, 8. So we can find the work by taking the definite integral from x equals 1 to x equals 3 of the force that is now 2x dx. And this is simply the change in values of x squared, the anti an antiderivative as x goes from uh, 1 to 3. So that is 3 squared minus 1 squared, 9 minus 1, that is 8. Let's look at the next question. Calculate the work w done by the force f of x equals the cosine of x as it moves a particle from x equals 0 to x equals 2 pi along the x-axis. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and I found this work to be 0. So uh, we find it as the definite integral from 0 to 2 pi of the cosine of x dx. And that is just a change in values of the sine of x and antiderivative of the cosine of x as x goes from 0 to 2 pi. So that's just the sine of 2 pi minus the sine of 0. Both of those values are 0. Therefore, we get 0. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.